I made a very serious mistake yesterday, very, very serious mistake yesterday. I video recorded about being locked for two hours outside. Punished basically for work I do and have stated that I am from the same household, that we are all from the same household here. Uh, we are from the same household. And I have to explain this because I stated that I depend on my mama and on my papa. These are the issues that I should not get into it. Um, but I think on the other hand, it, it's the issues that madden me. It, it did not anger me. It's, it's a madness. Um, but on the other hand, I will use this opportunity to explain how I depend on my parents. And it's perfectly because I have listed these people here under this post. And let me, let me explain, let me give you a, an example of the incident. Uh, king Charles now, King, no longer Prince. He, it was very funny to him that my underwear was all well torn apart. Yeah, the police and my mama ripped me apart all the underwear. And I'm the kind of guy, because I do the hand wash, uh, that I just, uh, I'm not the type of person that I will go to mom and say, mommy, I need new underwear. I need new underwear and so on, you know? Uh, that's why, you know, rather than that I, I become insane, I'm gonna video record this video to explain you all how, how this stuff functions. So I stated that I depend on my mom and on my papa. Prince Charles stated me, uh, you can't even buy yourself an underwear, don't you see, to me under MK Ultra here in the living room. And uh, I didn't feel I need any. That's been, that's have taken place sometimes in 2000 and probably, I don't know, I don't know if I can include 2018, 2017. And uh, it was funny to him, entertaining. And um, I felt like, what do you care about this stuff? <laughs> he started a topic and so on. And uh, it's just that he... I'm not going to say that he figure out something that he shouldn't propose this kind of issue during MK Ultra, but uh, th this is really embarrassing for him. I mean, this is really not embarrassing for me. But the thing about it is that he stated that uh, I stated to him, I stated to him, um, it, it, it turned out to be the conversation turned into that I buy myself stuff, my own stuff, I pay for my things and it was um, you can't even buy yourself an underwear and so on and so forth so let me explain in a very short this stuff. I don't know how many thousands of hours of videos I recorded and posts I have written on the blogger. I can tell you that they have inside of this house about probably 200 people from online advertising companies. They have executives from the Google, uh, responsible for advertisement, responsible people from YouTube, 
responsible for advertisement, responsible people. Like, like I said, from 200 different companies that you would earn money if you would do online revenue. They were inside here all convincing me that I will, for you, no money. No right to even register yourself anywhere for any kind of, you're not legible for any kind of online income and you never will be. Um, I think it's astronomical amount of money that is being stolen from me when it comes to the online revenues. I think that it's, I was not as disturbed with the online revenues, believe it or not, as I was with having video view counters blocked because with video view counters blocked, a government reserves the right to throw you into the psychiatric hospital. Suggestion you basically nobody fucking see you. Nobody hears you. You're insane. It was more disturbing when it comes to YouTube, daily motions, and other uh, branches of online uh, hosting services video. Uh, all the video platform people were here. And regardless, even if they liked me, there were companies that they liked me. Uh, they had to sign agreement, contract with the governments. The Canadians liked me, it was Americans that liked me, it was Japanese that liked me and so on, certain companies I'm not going to say, but they had to sign the contract with the British Royals, with the US government about this secrecy. So this is a mother and father of all extermination procedures the world have ever seen. It's not easy to be isolated financially. In my case, uh, I have been totally, totally cut out of the world uh, entirely. It, it, goes, it, it goes back to time, basically, since I started to work on a... Since I started to work, you already know my history. Uh, how the fuck that went uh, I don't know metal working industry 60-80 hours a week for a 100 euros per month uh, of which father also wanted uh, his share even bigger share demonstrated me the iron gate he purchased Suggested me during MK Ultra only that his that his friend is giving him cheaper because of the income he takes away from me. Talking about the Chertalich here, uh, and demands more money because obviously hundred dollars is too per month is too much money for that amount of work. Uh, demands for me to go trim the garden. Uh, clean the garden, uh, collect all the apples, cut all the grass, uh, so that he can show his friends a big fruit yard that he created, uh, planted the trees basically, and so that he can do hunting and fishing and stuff like this. And so that I can look forward to, uh, as soon as possible, to... Uh, uh, psychiatric hospital this is like a turbo murder basically this is what I escaped from Slovenia at age 23 at work where I was it was you have a guy that hammered not one but I don't know how many including myself bam 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 all fucking long bam bam hammer stuff have nothing to do with my profession anyways uh, use the machine in a closed space to obviously to fucking kill myself brain fucking kill myself and eardrums and everything uh, always kind of work on getting myself killed literally that was the type of environment and here you have uh, I don't know 
for 60 to 80 hours a week of work in metal working you get a hundred dollar pay at the same time my friends uh, 400 dollar pay for 40 hours a week of work um, we escaped that so that's how it all started you know and through all this shit uh, I could tell you a lot about work how the hell that was done but you know even if you even if you do something like this to the person there are laws today that protect people there always were laws if you're jobless if you're insane if you are whatever the fuck you are you don't need to be dependent you can go and you can file for social security if you're insane you go and uh, i don't know you get the psychiatric hospital somebody testify or that you're insane and then the next thing you do is you go to to the office for unemployment to the state office and you get the paychecks you know what i mean well i didn't get any for anything i got one time when i was in psychiatric hospital for about maybe six months every month i got maybe 150 euros or something like this maybe it was and i'm probably exaggerating with it so I yet have to see all that stuff. So, you know, uh, I never got any kind of social support in my life. And I was completely cut out of the job field when they came up even with the idea that I'm a paranoid schizophrenic. So when British uh, Charles Windsor Saxe Kaburga uh, stated Battenberger, when he stated that he, uh, he even stated that he pays for everything. He said, if you go to mama, maybe she can buy you something. And he claimed that he pays for everything. Uh, that's why yesterday when I stated that, uh, that we are one household and that I depend on them and they depend on me, it's like this basically uh, this is very interesting to Natasha Pirts Musar Slovenian president who pressured me choked me like this behind that if I say I'm not dependent on them then I'm dead Borut Pahar, Milan Kuchan it's a very important question for Tanya Fayon to answer because they were behind this extermination procedure you know uh, I depend in a sense on them uh, I do not exist extermination procedure against me exists that's one thing there is no I here so it's extermination procedure they believe Prince Charles believes that it depends on them financially so much uh, they pay so much so that they can claim their right to one uh, in other words they're using this i don't know if it's 100 or 150 euros per month for the food that i spent to rationalize to apologize uh this acts of lunacy against me I don't know how otherwise I would uh, explain this stuff. So this is basically how much I depend on them. And this is how much they they owe me. They owe me quite quite a whole fuck a lot. More than what they have inside of their bank accounts. Why the fuck would regular people go broke if you sue them and they could not go broke? Why is this? These people don't have enough if they would work, if they would live thousand lives to pay on a court of law for what they did according to degree, according to amount of the crime not what they did but also theft, concerning theft so the, yes, we are one household, I'm not allowed to even come close to uh, employment office I'm not allowed to file for any kind of 
uh, support and I am not allowed to uh, all threaten through the psychiatry and I am not allowed to uh, look for the job which is more outstanding isn't it that you're gonna be you're gonna be fucking reported to psychiatric hospital if you're gonna look for the job if you just come close to institution state employment agency and you file that you're looking on a job that you're on a market and they have to put you in the computer and if you don't get the job they have to substitute the money for the lost time that's how it works nobody can afford not to pay bills are due to be paid all the time so how much money the fuck do you think do you owe me because it's about me not working or me depending on somebody it's about other issues yes i do the extermination procedure against me depends on people who claim are actually paying for me but does this justifies one well, that depends on eye of beholder. That's basically on an individual that is watching this program. If you think that it's okay to run this kind of procedure, uh, that you have, that they have the right basically to do stuff like this because they pay for the bills, then I guess yes. If it, if it doesn't matter to you what kind of bills, what the fuck this is yes yes in in a technical sense like this yes uh in a sense of the law <laughs> constitution or something like that law uh, these people deserve nothing other than to step in front of the firing squad you know joseph fritzel this is identical stuff, it's just not one. There are just many in this case. There are so many in this case that there are such a high positions that they completely can own this situation. Prime ministers, presidents, uh, parliament supports them, a net of criminals they created. This is not about the president or prime minister, but prime ministers and presidents and royals and so on elites so it's a criminal network you read about every day i'm sure in a paper you talk about the scam about all kinds of scams uh we never had so many scams right i think those scams do exist for the reason because the biggest scammer you know who the biggest scammer the biggest criminal is I hope I made myself clear in this in this program about how it functions, how the MK Ultra functions. So, Joe Biden is, uh, you know, uh, you know what? He has been taken care of, right? He has been taken care of. And what exactly is this? I mean, if you would ask him, if you would ask him a question, what do you mean by this president? How is he being taken care of? Well, he's got parents, he's got, he gets food, he gets all this, he gets, he gets everything. He's got a health insurance, I am health insured. Right? It's just obviously something wrong with this guy, right? So obviously something is wrong with me. So that you understand how much do we depend on one another? Who depends on whom, what, how? That's all I wanted to um, clarify in this issue, that you understand uh, what the fuck this is, what kind of uh, illness this is. You talk to me about problems you people have, all kinds of problems. Uh, I don't actually even exist. It's also people like this and somehow they just, the system is just numb. They don't see it, they don't know it, they don't, they don't want to know anything about it. And, you know, we have, we, we have never had more um, institutions and uh, uh, mechanisms that uh, are out there to uh, protect people, uh, protect people's rights, dignity, and I don't know what the fuck. 
We have a human rights ombudsman, so every country in the European Union has, and we have it in the European Union, uh, and we have a court, the so-called European Union court, and we have all kinds of uh, mechanisms and systems and United Nations and Amnesty and who the fuck knows what. But, you know, uh, it, it's, it's a one-way street. It's a one-way street, you know. Basically, the human rights ombudsman, in my case, was a bad motherfucker. This human rights ombudsman, you know what the hitman is? Assassin that gets money to kill somebody? Those were uh, a human rights ombudsman in my case. They were just uh, focused killers, uh, giving me basically no hope. You understand? If I would rely on the hope, that's why I'm still alive. I would be dead a long time ago. I talk maybe a little bit complicated. Let me repeat. Obviously, I do not rely on the hope. But if I would rely on the hope, I would be dead a long time ago. Yeah? So again, obviously, I do not rely on the hope. They say that hope dies last. Uh, in my case, it would be a stupidity if I would rely on the hope. That would that would make me like mech, uh, craziest motherfucker in the universe, literally. They survive on killing hope. Basically, they survive it's like a worms, like a parasites within the system. They nest. And they make money based on damage they cause to the people. How much psychological, physical, uh, if they can kill you somehow that it doesn't look they killed you. Uh, system basically is where I subsist. This is my system. They put you through situations that uh, are tested by the police, evaluated by the police officers. Uh, evaluated by numerous other individuals, uh, literally creating a patterns. You ever heard about the patterns they create? Certain patterns uh, for individual, uh, like like you go purchase something on AliExpress or eBay, and let's say you purchase a telephone, and you click on the telephone you like, good price. If yeah, you scroll down, you're going to see other telephones and so on. And maybe for the comparable price, maybe or too much or less or whatever the case might be. It depends on your wallet. How about, have you ever heard about working in some place with your co-worker and your co-worker living in one direction? Uh, with more or less same qualifications, let's say, education, and, uh, you know, uh, you just happen to follow him in that same route and so on. Uh, did you ever, you work, uh, heard about certain professions, uh, you know, the whole system is naturally designed like this. I mean, I don't know, if you go for, if you, if you finish certain profession in the school, and it, it will be only certain profession will be open in that, you know, that would, that you would fit in those fields, that you could alternate your as your whatever your profession whatever you're educated for um but what i'm talking about is more sophisticated stuff what i'm talking about is stuff that's literally designed to we have to ask ourselves what the fuck are the work locations today what is the work locations today do you, you you know, okay, for instance, I'm going to be really sophisticated. Everybody knows this already anyways. For instance, French foreign legion. 
French Foreign Legion, and it's not the only one, they all do it. Everybody does that. U.S. Marines, Navy SEALs, they all do it. Wherever is professional stuff involved in it, they do it. Um, stuff I was talking about, the police officers and uh, indirectly involved people, they get people looking for jobs, promotions, for whatever the fuck, and young people that go out there to through their governments testing themselves it was loads of people young people whole rivers of young people that go like this uh, sometimes they go to do stuff like this so they don't go if they don't go in the army or whatever it's all kinds of locations like this they do and they test people and so on we could almost say i could almost say it's every work location like this everywhere um In French Foreign Legion, they test people, literally, um, subject them to MK Ultra, and fill them with all kinds of issues that are pertaining to certain issues in a certain element. And when they find themselves in in this element again, including challenging them, it's maybe better for them to go home. Maybe better choice, maybe easier choice. They give them all kinds of stuff. They create all kinds of mental crises in the head, in subconscious, challenging people to get the candidates that will stick and not depart home. I know a lot of you, maybe most of you did not know this, that this is happening. This is actually happening. And Then they put them out and they break their ass. They put them on a terrain and they, they make them walk and uh, do the course, do all kinds of uh, obstacle shit. Uh, and sometimes this recruits just simply turn around and walk home, which is makes things so much better. So you don't have to waste money on the prospects that are not promising. And you rather also concentrate on uh, people that are, uh, you know, uh, prosperous, that are promising. Um, it's the same shit everywhere. It's, it's if you go to companies, it's the same shit they do. In many companies, they do the same things. Um, they open a river for the people that follow closely the instructions of their owners, of their rightful owners in whatever country, you know? So they, they fit in a certain positions and these people constantly have to prove themselves doing criminal illegal stuff this is how it's in slovenia um this is basically how they prove their loyalty uh beyond the law uh, obviously that you are you are obligated to a secrecy and so on uh, and if it takes to kill a person that you have to kill the person and they do it and uh, then there is another river of the people, a people that need to be eliminated per political agenda. I told you that in Slovenia, these are homeless dogs. Slovenian people are homeless dogs that just have a biggest problem is difficulty to find their way back to their masters, to their owners, to Belgrade. This is my definition for Slovenian people. So many people, this is not nation. This is not even a nation. This is not a nation. These are homeless dogs that just don't know how the fuck to get back to their masters, to their owners. That's what that is in Belgrade. 
And so for those that oppose this agenda, then there is a different kind of river. And this is always the kind of river that that's, it will prevent you from finishing the completing the education from or obtaining a stable employment it's always about the stability and it's always always about the issues how long have you held for uh did you have a problems with this and so on nobody asked anything anything about you know who are you what is your background and so on because the first thing what they do is they take over human resource departments that's where they are, they're a human director and then it's a human resource department and it starts between director and human resource department. It's a cleansing within the company. This is the way it is. They have certain crew, certain crew, the people move in and they start to fuck from one workplace to the other. And the rest is like a sheep or it's like a goat. They cleanse, they, you know, in fear for jobs and for everything. Uh, people just put their heads down and this is how Slovenia goes to well Americans already figure out easy come easy go Slovenian people don't appreciate the freedom they once were entitled to they don't have any kind of high hopes whatever Slovenian people are just uh, uh, not happy with what I have. They are not happy with what they have. The Slovenian people are just uh, people that uh, believe that the United States of America is ran by the CIA and uh, uh, Germany has uh, their own, uh, you know, people and Italy has their own people and uh, Hungary has their own people and, uh, you know, every country has their own people running the country. And every, every country has, uh, you know, their own, uh, uh, you know, group of people that, uh, you know, is enforcing for Slovenia. Uh, Udba, you know, the KGB is the most suitable because basically this used to be Yugoslavia. Uh, really not for too long. Uh, but the thing about it is that, uh, you know, uh, they are not, they're not enthusiastic about, about themselves. They, they just, you know, they're, they're just, they're just displeasured because they have full ass of everything. Slovenia is a very wealthy country. It's a very wealthy country. People here live way fucking good. Deliberately to say not way better, but way fucking good when compared to I think even many Western parts of the world including Britain and America and so on, you know uh, have Big fucking farms and uh, cars and uh, land and uh, you know anything you fucking want really, you know uh, health care everything they want so uh, you know, easy come, easy go. You know, how the fuck can I say? Uh, in Yugoslavia was really good. They have Stojadin, they have Fitchko, this Fiat 750, they have a, a, a Fiat 1200 or 100 or 1100, and they have the Ladas and they have all this stuff, and they built themselves houses and so on. Uh, you know, it, you know, everything was fantastic. You know what I mean? Uh, and so it was a little bit, it started to get a little bit difficult because the loans they took, but that was a long time ago. So fuck it, you know? Um, when you have full ass of everything, you know, it's just, uh, um, how can I say? Uh, It's a feeling of the guilt, you know, you feel guilty, you feel guilty. 
um, when you compare yourself to others and uh, you know you you have such a high standard of life when compared to others from the Yugoslav republics it's a feeling of the guilt I don't have it because feeling of the guilt is dementia a lot of people in wealthy countries they have this kind of feeling of the guilt whatever this kind of people if you ask me don't deserve no fucking citizenship whatever the fuck they are I personally I fucking kick them out of the country some way one way or whatever fucking way one way or another I do fucking get get rid of them because they're trouble for everyone that's a dementia within the system and that's what eats the country down to the core it's a scum that has the money for absolutely everything and will go on and will kill people just to get more fucking money as it was in my case they were building themselves one home two home three four five fucking home buying themselves cars they now fucking know what the fuck to do with the money yeah well it was not enough to steal more they needed to steal more and so they involved the, the Hitler, they involved the neo-Nazi Germany, they involved the partisans and all kinds of issues in it. And they justified the killing procedure as a patriotism, as a form of patriotism, as a duty. Even they knew very good that this is the worst crime, the biggest corruption and in fact systematic murder of an individual to whom they own in many cases they knew of an individual to whom they own they owe for the country they are in so it starts with the people like this it doesn't start with the people that are broke people that are broke are looking for opportunities they go out there and they try to make something their way, the honest way, earn money. This is Slovenia, and Slovenia is just part of, as they, as the Kuchan says, it's like a part of the. You're part of the uh, developed world uh, when you start killing your neighbors, your co-workers, your schoolmates, and for every one of them, for each of them, once you successfully cause them damage, you become entitled. By proving yourself to the system that you're worthy of of what otherwise would belong to him and so this is this kind of that other second river they create the system for the people like myself you know certain dots that might be within the element within the system itself within the factories within companies how many times they deliver me to the companies all kinds of companies where they tortured me drugged up and they keep repeating oh you do, do this wrong you do that wrong you're gonna do this you're gonna do this we're gonna give you this assignment we're gonna give you that assignment then we're gonna give you that assignment you make so many mistakes you're gonna make one more mistake uh, and sorry we cannot keep you anymore this is what they're doing to the people that are drugged up during mk ultra and you're looking you're writing you're looking for the job and so on and you find yourself the next day on a place where you were just not too long ago subjected to heavy torture and you enter that facility chances are you even gonna go and hurt yourself have a serious work accident you might suffer due to all kinds of issues they introduced into the work element now this is this is this is a reality we're living i know you don't see this kind of stuff on a tv no you don't hear about this stuff in real in in on a radio but this is what is happening in a so-called democracies well the thing is it's happening everywhere obviously if it's already happening if it's happening in democracies the only difference between the dictatorship like a soviet union and greater serbian chetnik state such as uh, Yugoslavia was, is that completely insane shit. Um, exiling people to Siberia or uh, on a Gali Autok or, uh, you know, 
experimenting on the people right out on the open and stuff like this. Maybe they couldn't prove this is happening in the western part of the world. But the one thing is de facto. If it was something that was happening in the west part of the world, I'm saying this because the police was just, they were saying to me exactly pretty much what I stated to you, you know. Your standard is based on a number of the people you destroy. That's how much more you're entitled to. This is what they claimed to everyone that was involved in MKHR. This is how they do in America and Britannia and so on, is what they claim. Blah, 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 blah. The truth is that uh, there was no such thing with that whatever went on, I'm not saying even that something what I stated right now did not go and does not go on in the US or Canada and Britain, France, Germany and so on. I'm not saying this. Australia, you name it. I'm saying that absolutely whatever went on whatever they stated to me goes on on the west is absolutely what went on in the east this this, this the only difference between the west and the east is that that east was just more old-fashioned maybe maybe if i stayed like this maybe more bloodthirsty okay uh but don't you, don't you worry if somebody tells you about some shit like this you can remind of what I told you. Uh, in America, they didn't do exactly a lot of more and that kind of stuff. They did not exterminate people with a total starvation, stuff like that. So you can tell them. When you say something about America and this and that, uh, this is just something that, uh, you know, in addition to whole lot more and everything else they were doing in a Soviet Union or in a greater Serbian Chetnik state, like on a mass scale, Yugoslavia or Kingdom SKS and so on. Um, otherwise, you know, um, I got kind of uh, away, I understand, I, I, I wandered away a little bit from the topic about about this issue, but I think it's time that somebody starts to discuss this, because this is what we were discussing during MK Ultra all the time about this kind of issues. This is what I was subjected to, and I don't hear anything. I don't hear on the TV. I don't get to see anybody discussing this issue. And this this issue is actually taking place on a mass scale. Today is more psychiatrists than it ever was. We have all kinds of human rights organizations and. We have all kinds of instruments and uh, I don't know how to say that in English. We, we have so many um, elements within the system that are dedicated to protect people. Yeah, but everything, nothing really is, uh, you know, they seem to be there just for the decoration and or uh, for evaluation purposes and then that stuff about the evaluation is 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 um, you know it's it's what I see as a mister in between you know um, the citizenship the one I know comes in a whole package just as is written I don't know anything about evaluation. I don't know anything about, uh, um, you know, playing with somebody sanity through the right to work and stuff like this. I don't, I don't know anything about any theft of his money and, uh, you know, this kind of stuff, all these things. And I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. And I don't know anything about that kind of stuff because I'm not willing to settle down for it. I'm not willing to listen to this kind of shit. I'm willing to turn the recorders on and file complaints, fight straight back in the face. And you already know it. Um, but Slovenian people are the people that, just as I told you, these are dogs, these are homeless dogs. It's a, it's a brutal expression. And I thought that I owe you this expression to explain this expression. 
if it was one more time that it would be for me to decide about what with Slovenia uh, I wouldn't even move the tail for it because it's a uh, um, it's just what it is, right? I mean, it's a country that is, uh, it have eaten itself, you know, it deliberately, de deliberately have eaten itself out. It became independent, it became free, uh, and it became independent one f free maybe only for one fucking day. Just as Milan Kuchan proclaimed. Today, Danes are devoid Sanje. A jutri pa bla bla bla. The dreams. We can allow ourselves only today to dream. That was the Independence Day. And tomorrow is the reality. He, the first day upon the declaration of Slovenia independence, he already started to fucking kill the country, the nation, the people that stood up on the street with a rifle in their hands stood up against this Serbian occupation and the first thing that happened and what is crazy is the next thing they go yes Mr. President that's not a nation that's not a nation that deserves to be a nation is what the fuck I'm saying that's not the nation it's not the nation you want to salute as a nation that's a that's a that's a Russian satellite that's a Russian Kaliningrad number two Serbian Kaliningrad is what this is even the flag is the same at the same flag like a Russian flag so you know I was proud I was born here as a Slovenian uh, but all in all it uh, the whole thing about Slovenia it broke down on the Nazis uh, and on the partisans it all everything broke down on uh, Germans and on Narodno uh, Zavedne Slovence Slovenian partisan movement that's all it broke down out of uh, pure um, satanism uh, this liberators that came to liberate already liberated Slovenia right after the Slovenian independence in 91 did not even dare to mention Italian fascism because Italian fascism is dangerous it's too close to Serbian fascism that's why pro-Serbian fascism in Slovenia it's too close fascism is a hatred that's that's like Italian people are more of a darker color complexion uh, they're not as uh, blonde or whatever and uh, more or less this is a case with the Slovenian people more or less and so now it's a problem because when it comes to Germans the first thing they did is They stereotype them, you know, the blonde Nordic neo-Nazi Aryan race and so on. Uh, uh, imitate whatever, you know. Uh, went straight after the companies, BMW, whatever, Mercedes and so on. They just, you know, this this schizophrenia here in Slovenia. I endured this. This was just fucking borderless. You know, and they they teach people to fucking hate and do things out of hatred, not anymore out of the need. Uh, in the Germany, people purchase uh, cars, all kinds of cars, Japanese, uh, 
Korean, American, German cars, of course, whatever they make in Germany, uh, French cars, whatever you can afford, whatever you think it's, it fits you, you know, but in Slovenia, this shit went down straight after the Kuchan into one uh, Slovenian independence, into one extremism, fascism, that prohibited you from wearing Nike shoes, Adidas, uh, sitting in a German car and so on. I mean, this, this was a fucking sheer lunacy, I mean, sheer lunacy. Alfa Romeo, fascist, also was on the list of the prohibited cars. Uh, Fiat, okay. Alfa Romeo, no. Lancia, no. Uh, I mean... People started to act with hatred. People started to, ha to act with a feeling of guilt, self-blame for something like, why the fuck am I uh, of a lighter complexion, you know? Fuck. I go out of the door and people see me. Now when I participate in this meeting and this and that with these people, now I finally became smart enough to know how people see me and what is expected of me to be seen as a, as a human being to be accepted in this great Slovenian nation fucking paranoia all over the country people driven nuts insane doing crazy shit out of fucking hatred even toward themselves didn't feel right to own something more than somebody else did somebody else who came from somewhere else felt like you should be just fucking jobless at home and give somebody else instead the right to work this is Slovenia Slovenians are dogs homeless dogs that just don't know how to find their way back to Belgrade. They act tough. They look tough. But they are shit. They really are shit. They are a bunch of shit. Behind the toughness is the system that protects the criminal that gets in your face. That's a toughness they project. As he turns around and he sees Serbian behind him, he goes on the knees like this and he is praying for mercy. It's a shit. It's a homeless dogs that don't know how to find their way to Belgrade. And they will tumble like they did. The right to exist to a fellow man here in Slovenia. For as long as somebody else is going to step on a motherfucker ass. This is the way it is here in Slovenia. And so that that would not happen. They are, they are affiliated like a good Kaliningrad number two. With the Russian flag to the mother Russia. To the Serbia. They are vassals from the pigeons from Serbia. This is what Slovenia is. To make myself quite clear about what Slovenia is. So, yes, I depend on my parents, on my mother, because my father is now at home for elderly people, and he is paying himself a stay at home for elderly people. His entire retirement goes against the bills. Uh, at Milan Kuchan requires. The Baron Milan Kuchan uh, fix him real good. The, the coach and design a really interesting road for him. They got him fucking blind, smashing good. Through the stroke, get him through the hospital, then to home for elderly people, and finally on a junkyard. Well, a father have embraced this lifestyle. Uh, he believed that he owed this great Slovenian nation uh, is uh, extremely grateful 
to uh, to the people to whom uh, you, you have no fucking idea how they treat mother and father, the police. <laughs> During MK Ultra, how they treated them. You have no fucking idea what the fuck this was. I have to do about the stuff about the gardening that police did outside with the neighbors and people and so on. You know? Uh, I mean... I think mom was not even allowed to cut the grass. Father who purchased the car, purchased the car for the police to fuck around with. Just please. And the same was with other stuff. Those who did the lawn, the cutting the grass, were compensated through this mega retirement of my mom and of my father. Basically not a retirement from my mom and my father, but based on extermination procedure against me. The less I have purchased for myself, the more broken I was, the more my parents were due to pay for cutting the loan to the neighbors, uh, to their friends that would come here to cut the loan, uh, and with this shit retirement they had, uh, the police officers would only step to them and would uh, say, um, well, Sebastian said that for this kind of work, drugged up, uh, you at least have to pay a minimum wage in Slovenia to the guy. And if the police officers said that to my mama, to my papa, then it was only the money. <whistles> this is the way it operated. The appraisal of the house was done in a such a way that they deducted. They told me during MK Ultra because of me, the value that otherwise it would be paid. And fuck around like this and up and down and back and forth do the stuff whichever way they want it robbing the house robbing the people prohibiting my mother and my father from allowing me to make money yeah the mom and father would not pay me the money for the work if I would do I was looking for the money to, to make the money but on the other hand I was not allowed to do the stuff they were paying a minimum wage to the people that would come here. They had to pay them. Police ordered. It was just pay, basically. And I was here jobless at home and I was not allowed to work. So what do you think about this kind of channels? I mean, do you, do you feel yourself like you are financing here something? That you are paying for it, for something? Look. I probably spend about two dollars, two euros per day. It's about 60 euros per month, 70 euros per month on myself. And that's about it. So you're paying the bill because you're, you cover the bills. You pay the bills and you, you're the man, you're paying the bills, you finance. What the fuck do you finance? What the fuck do you finance? Now, explain people, motherfucker, eh? Charles from London, eh? Joe Biden. You go fucking explain people what the fuck you pay. You don't even pay what? What do you pay exactly, buddy? Because there was so much fight about who is financing all this. Financing what? Who is financing what? Financing me in what sense you finance? You financed extermination procedure. You financed genocide. You enforced genocide and you financed the genocide. And in now in what way did you pay me? 
I didn't need the food that I needed to eat. Even for the food costs, you used what you, what you refer to as finance, a poisonous food that you served me on a table. The shit food, the cheapest food, the junk, the garbage food. So that I could save you, you are financing. You finance what? Be fucking honest, Charles, and go and tell you're paying about 800 pounds per year in this case for the food costs. 900 pounds per year you pay for the food costs here in this home. Be fucking honest, Joe Biden. Go out there and tell. $1,000 per year is not is what you pay for this year. How many of you can live for a $1,000 per year? Those are fucking mega handouts, you got to admit. Shitty handouts. So I thought it's important uh, for me to declare that this is one household. This is one household. And I really want to speak to this guy, to this dispatcher from Novomaster Police, by the way. I really want to sit with him and see what he got to say about this stuff. How he envisioned these things. And This is one household, you motherfuckers. One. You fucking homeless dogs. One, one, one household it is, yes. It is because of you. I'm not going to say I pay for it. Yes, I pay for it. Even with the health, I pay for it. I paid for it and I pay for it. I pay so the factory can be over there in the corner. And another one, Renault, over there. Not too far from here. Levichnik supposedly died from IMEB. Yeah, oh yeah, he did. Under Yanich did too. And you pay my bills. You motherfuckers pay my bills. Think about when you come up again and you try to make a brand for yourself and tell somebody that you're paying for something. Think about this fucking video here. I don't know for any YouTuber, for any blogger that would do as much work as I did. I don't know a single blogger, a single YouTuber, a single journalist that would do as much work as I did. Anywhere even remotely near to this. Yes, of course, they all work for fucking nothing, for free, Charles. In the world, everything is free. For you, to tell you the truth, it doesn't make any difference anyway. You would understand anyway. This was recorded on July 9 already, morning hours, 2024. Uh, this is related to this issue here, where I declared that I depend on my mama and that I depend on my papa. I want to be very, very, very precise about it, and we understand each other. Um, I was born in Slovenia. Uh, my grandfather, my gra from both sides, on my mother's side and on my father's side, they both participated in national resistance movement. My grandfather had a resume that is extremely impressive resume. I don't actually think that anybody in Slovenia had a resume like this because he was a soldier in the World War One, and I don't fucking know about any party, party skill you did, communist in I don't know about any communist party people. My grandfather eventually became a communist, I think. He was a communist member, but none of them had any kind of fucking resume like this on both sides of the family. So this Slovenian swines this garbage, this swinery. That was hiding behind the Nazi Germany and behind the, I don't know, Hitler. Claiming me, 
on the psychiatric paper, writing the stories, whatever the fuck they wanted. That I attempted, that I that my goal was to exterminate Slovenian people. Roma and Slovenian people, that this was my goal. Man. Roma people class for themselves. Roma people help one another. They stick together. They defend one another. Slovenian people, how can I say? It's just actually more like a wild dogs, not even homeless dogs. Without their owners, don't know how to find a way back. The only way is to kill as many people as possible. Condition young people with employment. Condition older people and people in between with the right to stay at home for elderly. This is a Slovenian Himmelweis. Edelweiss is what I'm trying to say. Heaven. That's all. I don't want to say. I have nothing else to say about this stuff. A lot of memories go through my head when I think about all this. I have gone through and what I have seen afterwards this have developed into this is just a fucking mistake Slovenian people are just a mistake this is just a mistake on the map uh, if uh, they tutored me since I was a child that Slovenian people, this Berger Miroslav here, Bergerslav here, next door, this fascistoid Serbian, he indoctrinated me throughout my life that Slovenian people just don't know how to be in charge for themselves, they just don't know how to be bosses, they just don't know how to, that we are too little, that we are too few, you know, this, he always indoctrinated, we are just too few. We are just too few. I'm sure that we are just too few. Beginning today, we are none. Beginning today, we're none. We are just too few, but beginning today, we're none. I don't consider myself as a Slovenian. Fuck this. Beginning today, we are none. Next time anyone to refer to me, regard to me and say, Oh, we are just too few. We just, uh, we don't know how to... Uh, thinking about the Galun from Ptui, also my family. From the city Ptui. Slovenci nisu bili nikdar uh, uh, or Kotar here, Sonja Kotar, you know. Uh, nikdar nisu bili, nisu, nisu, uh, nisu pač, uh, nisu bili uh, 
Nisu se znali kod narod in tako naprej. In tako naprej. No, this is not about nisu se znali kod narod. This is, this is not about that they did not how, they did not know how to behave like a nation, like a sovereign nation, like a people. This isn't about this. This is about fucking swinery, man. It's about fucking swinery. Svinje. Slovenske. Svinje. This is about the swinery. This is what the fuck this is about. Whew. Now it's a payback time, motherfuckers, for everything you have done to me. Now I'm going to pay you for psychiatry, for what you have written on psychiatric papers for everything you have done to me. As well as mine, find your fucking dogless, homeless way back to Belgrade. Because I think you're going to need it 